This genius vertical turbine could revolutionize wind energy at home because it solves the biggest problem of horizontal wind turbines, which have to be switched off during storms. Otherwise, they would completely destroy themselves, as the rotational mass would literally tear it apart. And no one wants such a projectile placed in the garden or house roof. Now picture this, a brilliant aesthetic vertical wind turbine for home that can operate even at Category 4 hurricanes. A home wind turbine that constantly delivers power, even in the harshest weather conditions, such as snow, ice, and sandstorms, with little to no maintenance for over 20 years. That's the promise from the ice wind turbine, which enables energy independence, low energy costs, and realizes many people's dream of living off the grid. It requires little space, is easy to install, silent in operation, and a perfect complement to solar panels, especially at night and during the dark and cloudy season when less sunlight is available. But what makes this wind turbine so unique and is an investment really worthwhile for home users? We did extensive research and calculations and brought everything together in this video. The state-of-the-art ice wind turbine is developed and manufactured in Iceland one of the world's windiest and most remote regions. The country is known for its remote landscapes and harsh weather conditions, such as hurricanes, hail, and blizzards, making it an ideal place for testing and developing a robust wind turbine for personal use. The CEO of Icewind even claimed, Our turbines survived Iceland. They will thrive everywhere else. Interestingly enough, the country's commitment to renewable energy solutions has resulted in it producing 99% of its energy from renewables, creating energy self-sufficiency like nowhere else in the world. To make this energy independence available for everyone, Icewind created a brilliant wind turbine for home with on and off grid options. But what makes this turbine so special? While horizontal wind turbines are perfect for large-scale energy production, they have major disadvantages for residential applications. To deliver enough power, they must be massive enough to catch the fast and continuous wind speeds far above the ground. They require lots of space and stand still at slower and chaotic winds, commonly found in urban and suburban areas. Another disadvantage is that they have to be installed far away from obstacles that cause turbulent winds, which can not only reduce energy production and the lifespan of the turbines, but also lead to disturbing noise and vibrations. And no one wants a disturbing device next to their home. Vertical turbines, like the ones designed by Icewind on the other hand, offer a more low-profile solution. What's really surprising, however, is its incredibly shallow noise level of only 30 decibels. That's comparable to a room with a ticking clock. Unlike horizontal wind turbines that require a sophisticated mechanical gearbox to constantly be aligned to the wind direction, vertical turbines are omnidirectional and can catch winds from all directions. The ice wind can also operate at slower and chaotic wind conditions, making it ideal for residential use. It's also designed to withstand Category 4 hurricanes with wind speeds of up to 135 miles per hour. So while horizontal turbines have to be switched off when a lot of wind energy is available during storms, the ice wind can still deliver energy. But how is it possible that a wind turbine is so versatile and can harness faster and slower wind speeds simultaneously? Well, the answer lies in its exceptional design. Its creative engineering integrates two types of blades that work seamlessly together. The outer blades are made of Darius lift-type rotors typically seen on conventional wind turbines and the airfoils of airplanes. These serve to enhance lift properties and get the ice wind spinning at higher RPMs. The rotational speed can exceed the wind speed by five times. So in theory, Darius rotors can achieve the same efficiency as conventional horizontal wind turbines, which can be as high as 40%. But they have a decisive disadvantage to overcome. Darius rotors usually need an additional motor to set the turbine in motion, as they cannot start independently. And that's exactly where the inner blades come into play. The inner blades are made of a Savonius drag-type design that dates back to the Persian Empire. 
It's a simple blade design that works at low speeds and sets the ice wind turbine in motion. But it also acts as a self-regulating braking mechanism to protect the turbine from higher wind speeds. However, the disadvantage of the Savonius turbines is their low efficiency of just 15 to 20 percent. That's the reason why they are commonly used as anemometers, devices that measure wind speed where efficiency plays no crucial role. So both turbines have advantages and disadvantages and complement each other in a genius way. The Savonius rotor sets the turbine in motion at low winds. In contrast, the Darius rotor harnesses the energy of faster wind speeds. But how much energy does the ice wind turbine actually produce? Ice wind offers two products called Njord and Freya. First, let's talk about Freya, as this is the model that the average consumer finds most interesting. According to the company, anyone who can assemble IKEA furniture can install this turbine on its own. The Freya stands 5 feet tall, 1.5 meters, with a diameter of 3.6 feet, 1.2 meters, and weighs about 130 pounds, 60 kilograms. Based on the Savonius rotors, its inner blades allow it to start at lower wind speeds of only 2.2 meters per second or 5 miles per hour. It attains a rated power output of 160 watts at a wind speed of 22 miles per hour, whereas at higher wind speeds it delivers up to 600 watts of energy. If someone is looking for a more powerful device, the Njord could be a better option with a rated power output of 500 watts. At higher wind speeds, the power output even reaches up to 3,000 watts. So the turbine can deliver enough power to power a fridge, TV, and other appliances, but it is also significantly larger. It was initially catered towards industrial applications for communication towers, depots, relay stations, and radar outposts in remote locations. But what's the cost of the turbine? How much energy yield can be expected annually? And above all, is an investment really worthwhile? The price depends on the size you choose. The larger Njord model starts at $5,200. The smaller commercial model Freya begins at $3,200, whereas the off-grid variant is priced at $4,800. However, the financial viability of wind turbines depends on a few factors. Financially, the system only makes sense for private users in locations with average wind speeds of over 5 meters per second. That's because the power output increases disproportionately to the wind speed. By doubling the wind speed, the energy output increases by 4 to 8 fold. The system is particularly profitable in windy regions such as Iceland, coastlines in the UK or Canada, or even Central American states. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory's wind map, Average wind speeds easily exceed 7 to 10 meters per second at those locations. At these high wind areas, an annual electricity yield of 800 kilowatt hours to 2,000 kilowatt hours can be expected. Considering a warranted lifespan of 20 years, the system will produce a total of 16,000 kilowatt hours to 40,000 kilowatt hours of electricity. If we choose the off-grid Freya model for $4,800. The price per kilowatt hour ranges between 12 and 30 cents. This would definitely make amortization within its lifetime possible. But can the ice wind turbine also power an entire off-grid family home? The average European Union household uses 4,000 kilowatt hours of electricity every year. That means you would need about three Freyas to power your home fully if you lived off the grid in a European home. Things get even more dicey if you choose to live in an American home. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the average annual electricity consumption for a U.S. home was 10,972 kilowatt hours. This indicates that you would need eight Freyas to power an off-grid U.S. home. However, a wind turbine should rather act supplementary to solar panels, especially in the night or in the winter when less sunlight is available more usable wind energy is available for additional power supply. Therefore, a hybrid system with solar panels, a wind turbine, and a 10 kilowatt hour battery storage could supply an entire off-grid family home with clean, renewable energy all year. But as you can see, the viability of wind turbines 
depends on several factors that have to be priced in and calculated individually, especially in regions where energy prices are particularly high or in areas without grid connection and less solar potential. This system could be a game changer. However, everyone should conduct a cost-benefit analysis before investing in such or related home wind turbines. An indispensable part of this analysis is a wind speed measurement of the installment area. Depending on the wind supply, some might need to look for alternatives as the system efficiency may need to be higher. Therefore, the ridge blade system could be the perfect alternative. Placed on the roof ridge, it takes advantage of the roof pitch of traditional sloped roofs. It turbocharges the wind to produce 220% more energy at home. Click on the display video if you want to learn more about this system. Like and subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this.